hello, hello. Establish your business, protect your name, and keep your profits. Tammy Shambada, Houston-based attorney and creator of Ask Tammy Live. Today, we're going to be answering this question. Can domain names be trademarked? All right, hear that? Can domain names be trademarked? So the answer to that question is it depends. Typically, when we're talking about domain names, there is no automatic trademark right. A domain name is simply an address, just like a house address or an office address. A domain name is how people locate you online. All right, that's the way people, that's the way the law has defined domain names. That's what they've started to become. Now, a trademark, on the other hand, is a source identifier. It shows us where a good or service comes from. It's something that distinguishes the source of a good or service. So here are a couple of questions you should ask yourself when you're trying to figure out whether your domain name can actually earn trademark protections. The first question you want to ask yourself is, does this domain name do anything beyond showing people how to locate me? Like, is it just a way for people to find me online? If that's all your domain name does, then it probably doesn't get any type of trademark right. So for example, if you have a law firm and your name's Smith and Joe or something like that, your domain name is not distinguishing you as a source. It's not distinguishing you as a source of a good or a service. So there's probably a less, um, a smaller chance of getting a trademark protection associated with it. Another question that you want to ask yourself is, does it identify you as a source of goods? So when we go to your website, can we tell that you are the only one who produces this type of good? Is your name attached to whatever good or service that you're providing? Right. So if it does do that, so example, we talk about Nike, we understand Nike to be the source of athletic apparel. Right. We talk about Chanel. We know that to be the source of fashion and beauty products. If your good or service is not distinguishable, it's not something that can be identified based off of that name, you have a smaller chance or a smaller likelihood of it being recognized as a trademark right or something that you have trademark rights to. Another question that you want to ask yourself is, does this domain name have a likelihood of confusion? All right, and that's really an important question. That's just a trademark law question. And overall, these different questions that I've been answering have been questions with regards to just trademark law. When you're talking about domain names, it's really not about the domain, it's about the trademark. It's about does it follow under these criteria? So again, the question is, is there a likelihood of confusion? If someone sees your name, are they going to think that it's related to a different type of source or good? Are they going to think that it's associated with someone else? So if you have channel.com instead of chanel.com, are people going to accidentally type channel and think that you are trying to sell things that belong to Chanel? Like, is there a likelihood of confusion? That's a real important question. And then here's a a kind of a negative question, but you want to ask yourself, is this thing generic? Right. So people are probably not going to be able to have trademark rights to a domain name at www.airport. Why? Because that's a very generic name. It doesn't, you know, uniquely identify this group. There are a ton of airports. Again, if you tried the same thing with www.chairs, C-H-A-I-R-S, that doesn't tell us that you're a unique source of a particular type of chair or service. It's a generic name. So you want to stay away from those. And that's just trademark law in general. Um, That's all I've got for you today with the answer to that question. I hope that this has been helpful. If it has been, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you can be the first to hear from me and to know the different types of news and updates that I have for you. Additionally, I want you to go ahead and leave a comment, leave a question. Let me know if this is helpful. Finally, I want you to find some means to to follow me on social media. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram. You can even subscribe, like we said, to this YouTube channel or to the different podcasts. So we have um, the podcast available on Apple iTunes, 
We also have the podcast available on SoundCloud and Stitcher Radio. So, you know, get in where you fit in. Go ahead and figure out a way to follow me. I hope that this has been helpful. Again, my name is Tammy Shianbare. I am a Houston-based attorney, and I help people establish their businesses, protect their names, and keep their profits. Till next time. Bye.